Hi, this is Cindy at cindysmithphotography.com and today I'd like to give you a handy way to organize your brushes that you either make yourself or that you download from other websites into handy folders that you can work with um, from your flyout menu. So today if you go to your brushes and we go to this flyout menu you can see that if I have loaded brushes or created brushes uh, and I don't organize them into folders I can get this long list of brushes that I would need to work with and, and it might be hard to find the individual brush that I would need for a particular project but there's a way to organize this structure so that it's much easier to work with and what you would do is, or what you want to do is organize them into folders. You can see that I've gone out to a website, Aaron Blaze, which we'll talk about in a minute, and I've downloaded some brushes from his website, and I have these folders here that I can easily access. So what I want to do, first of all, is I'm going to reset um, this panel to its default. I don't have to worry about losing the brushes in the panel because I can always get them from those folders. So this says replace current brushes with default and I'm going to say OK. As you can see right here it comes back to a much shorter list. If I want to create these folders, in this case I'm going to append it at this point, and you can see that from 100 which was the default we have about 16 brushes starting from 324 down to 760, 767. If we want to organize those into one of the folders, we would go up to this little dialog box here. And this is the brush shape dynamics folder. If you come down to this little icon right here, it's called the preset manager. And we can see that uh, 100 is where we left off with the default, so we can start at 324. Hold down the shift key, excuse me, the shift key, and click on 767, and we can save this as a set. What you need to do is, I'm on a PC. You need to navigate to your operating system. If you're on a Mac, you would just go to Applications folder, and then from there it's going to be the same for both operating systems. You're going to navigate to your programs file, you're going to navigate to Adobe, you're going to navigate to Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 in my case or whatever um, version you're working with. We're going to go to presets, we're going to go to brushes, and you can see I've already loaded Aaron's brushes into this panel, but if you're doing it for the first time you would come down to this dialog box, create create your uh, brush name that you want, either personalized or from the website, and save it. And then you would be done. And then when you come back, whatever you've saved would come in as one of these panels. Um, another quick little tip is that if you want these to be organized, at the top of the panel instead of down here mixed in with the default panels. It just so happens that Aaron's name starts with an A, but you can organize your structure if you want so that they come in alphabetically so that you can um, find your brushes more easily, your personalized brushes more easily. Um, so that's the tip for the day. And what I'd like to do is just show you where you can get some of these brushes. Um, one place that you can go is deviantart.com and when you are on their home page if you just type in brushes in this flyout menu you'll end up coming up with brushes that uh, other people have created uh, most of them are royalty free but just make sure you check with each each set of brushes there's some crazy amount of blush brushes here that you do not have to create yourself, which is fantastic. Blood, smoke, moon and stars. Um, it just, it's just, it's amazing. Um, another free site is um, these explosion brushes from brusheasy.com. And you can type in explosion, uh, usually with an X explosion and you can download um, 
many of these different types of explosion brushes which you can use in your background. Um, if you're interested in Aaron's site, um, you can download Aaron's brushes. Um, his website is creatureartteacher.com. Uh, Aaron is an illustrator that has worked for Disney for years and worked on The Lion King and numerous other films like that. So a very accomplished artist. You would come down to Brushes and Textures and from there you would um, get this panel uh, that you can purchase for a very reasonable amount. I mean, he's done a lot of work on these. Um, you know, 20 to 30 brushes in each, in each di um, download. Um, they're very reasonable, five dollars. Um, you can spend the time creating them yourself. That would be always a good learning tool, but if you don't use brushes that often, um, I think this is a great way to um, enhance your workflow. So for five dollars, Aaron's created numerous brushes, canvas texture brushes, uh, foliage brushes, uh, water brushes, cloud brushes. It's a great thing to do. Also on his site, Aaron um, will show you videos. Below is a video demonstration uh, for his cold water pressed uh, texture technique. Um, he'll do a 38 minute demo on his canvas texture brushes um, and so like I said each one he sort of has a video that creates um, that tells you how he uses them best and then you can figure out how to use them best in your artwork so um, if you use brushes I hope this was a helpful tip um, I find it much easier to work with them in the flyout menu and um, thanks for stopping by. This is, once again, this is Cindy at cindysmithphotography.com.